Story time in Mo. Before I tell you the story of how I almost died from taking too much pre-workout, these absolute wavy wob hats are gonna be live by the time this video is gonna be live by the time this video is published in the description down below. I haven't got any caps left, they've all sold out and I only sell things once. If you want to cop one of these, or more specifically, the best festival hat ever made in the history of the world, you may be thinking, Mo, why is this the best festival hat in the world? Well, obviously, for one, it's gonna get you fucking laid. This is absolutely irresistible to any woman that crosses your path. A few of the features, black wob logo, ventilation mesh UV50, rear neck sun protection, adjustable strap, belt clip, built in sweatband, and most importantly a hidden pocket for tasty snacks in case you get hungry at a festival and they don't let you bring food into the festival. If you want to grab one of these Wobsporo hats in either khaki or red and one of the bucket hats there is a link down below. If you buy one of these hats and you don't get laid, I'll personally come round your house and suck your dick. We're just wrapping up some AM cardio I thought I'd talk a little bit about uh, the other day. Because I almost died in pre-workout, like legit. Um, I know there's loads of videos like, I almost died in pre-workout. I thought I was going to die. I own a brand called Motec Labs. That's the name of the business. We have a product called Wobs, which is a strong nootropic-based pill pre-workout. A lot of you guys have it, a lot of you guys love it. And that basically makes you feel fucking wild. I wanted to bring out something that really pushed the limits. I basically wanted to make a hardcore drug as a pre-workout. And we came up with this sample. We haven't got a name for it, let's just call it Sample X. For now, all right. We had a few previous samples before this pre-workouts that I was sent. I kept them going back and forth to my business partner. I was like, "Dude, I want it stronger. I want it stronger. Let's change this. Let's change this." And he's like, "Mo, you're gonna start fucking killing people. I will not make this stronger for you because people are gonna fucking die." I was like, "Mate, just make the pre-workout stronger." And then he's like, "All right, but I'm not happy about this. I'll add this in. Maybe change it a little bit." Because I was like, "Dude, that's not hitting hard enough at all." I got a text saying the formula was done. He was like, "Mo, let's try out the pre-workout. Don't want to meet me in London." We can give it a go. All these products, I test myself. So we went to this gym, went to train. It's like Mo, oh, Mo. Here's a pre-workout. It got a bit wet though in the manufacturing process. So I left the lid off, and it got moisture inside. So it's all clumped together. So it looked like it's disgusting. Right? Have you ever watched Chernobyl? Do you know like the reactor core that's all melted? It fucking looks like that. And I think I probably would have had better results if I ate the Chernobyl reactor core as well. I probably would have felt better. And um, it probably tasted better as well. But anyway, so we had this gloopy. This isn't a video to sell my products. Because I want to say, before I say this, I would not want anyone to fucking feel like this. I would go to prison if I sold this. Like, we can't bring this out. So we passed this pot of like Play Doh React Core looking shit. Serving size 15 grams, which is about two scoops. Gives me a scoop. So you start like pulling it apart. It's like really hard and stuck. Cramming it into these scoops to try and measure it. And then I put two scoops of this stuff into my shaker, shaked it up, mixed it up. My business partner, Adrian, had the same as well. Drunk it, and they were like, all right, let's hit the sesh, let's train. About 15, 20 minutes went by, and I started to get this, like, these waves in my arms and legs. These weren't like euphoric waves. This was like waves of like beta alanine tingling through my arms and legs, like really fucking weird, but it's quite enjoyable. It wasn't bad, it was like almost like euphoric waves. I was like, ooh, I like this. Um, and after 15 minutes went by, I started to feel high as fuck. Like, I started to feel like I'd taken some, some hardcore dissociative drugs. Like, I felt good. I felt really hyped. I saw a few subscribers in the gym, met people, really wanted to talk to people. Like, I felt fucking good, like that DMAA, like pre workout kind of high, you know, where you just feel great. The freeze hit me, it feels like I've just come, come up on front. But then the feeling kept building, it kept building, it kept building, it kept building. And I got to a point where I felt like disconnected from my body. Like, I felt like all the information going in wasn't really making much sense. Like, I put my phone down, I lost it, I put my keys in my bag, I'd lose it, and I started to get more and more and more anxious, and all these feelings started building up. I, started, I felt fucking horrible, basically, like a, like a sensory overload. Currently seeing or hearing colours. Um, I've lost my keys about seven times, so we're just going to have to train, get a session out of the way, and I'll give you a, a pre-workout review afterwards. So, it started to get worse and worse and worse. I started to sweat like I've never sweated so much in my fucking life. I sweated through all my clothes, and it got to a point where I had to start training. About 30, 40 minutes after taking it, I was like, I need the toilet. He was like, dude, you're not going to go to the toilet. Went to the toilet, and my dick wouldn't work. All my veins had constricted so much. When I tried to piss, it came out in some like, pss, 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 pss. I could barely piss, and I was like, oh my god, what has happened to me? This isn't good. Sat on the toilet, managed to do a shit, stood up, and I was like flat out waved. Like I was flat out fucked. Stumbled back into the gym with my bag on. I was like, dude, I can't train. I'm gonna have to go. 
By this point, the room was spinning. Like, I was trying to act normal because I didn't want him to dumb down the formula. And I was like, I was like, yeah, dude, all right, I'll, I'll see you later, mate. Go to get in my car and um, realize I can't drive. Like, I cannot drive at all. For the next two hours, I basically end up sitting in King's Gym car park. But I try listening to music to like calm me down and like not get let everything get too much. I'm trying to like go with the flow rather than fight against it and enjoy the experience. There was fucking nothing enjoyable. Whenever I closed my eyes, the room was spinning, made me feel sick. Um, sat for about two hours in my seat back and then went outside, threw up a little bit on the floor. Luckily, I was with someone and they drove me back home, which is a four hour drive. After about three hours from taking the pre-workout, I still felt absolutely fucked. We're going down the motorway in slow moving traffic and at that point I was like, bear in mind I'm sitting in this car right, watching everything go past me and I can't like focus on things. Like it's like I'm flat out, shit faced, blackout, drunk or high or done all the drugs in the world and like I cannot focus on things. I'm there like everything's spinning. I'm I started to be violently sick and we're not talking about a little bit sick, we're talking about projectile vomiting everywhere. We're going down the motorway about 50 miles an hour. I was there leaning out the car window, both arms, throwing up all down the side of the car, all over my arms, all over my face. And uh, I was sick for about the next two hours. And I, I, would, I would like to say, if I was a fucking good YouTuber, I'd say I was drifting in and out of consciousness, but I was like falling asleep and then waking up to be sick. Falling asleep, waking up to be sick. And we got home, went to get out of the car and I was like stumbling around, couldn't walk properly, couldn't walk straight. It wasn't until about 8 p.m., eight hours after taking it, that I started to not feel like hideously, absolutely hideously, disgustingly sick. Managed to go to bed about three o'clock in the morning. Woke up about eight, ended up spending the whole day in bed. It wasn't until the following day after that that I actually felt like a little bit, started to feel a little bit better. I wouldn't wish out on anyone. Like that is honestly what I imagine dying from a drug overdose to feel like. It was fucking disgusting. I didn't drink, like I knew where I was, but I was confused as fuck, everything was spinning. I felt so ill, like so ill. And like this isn't even a video to sell my product because we can't sell this and I wouldn't want anyone to take this. But yeah, so I took it a couple of days ago and I've got fucking dreadful since. Like not in myself physically, but mentally, it's almost like I've developed anxiety since I've taken it. I don't know if it's just a residual effect. It's been six days since I took it. Like, I've been waking up feeling really weird, quite miserable, really, really fucking anxious the whole, like, an entire day. And, like, I, I'm, I, I don't really have, I've never really had sympathy for people with anxiety. I don't know if this is what it is. But, like, I just won't be able to get anything done. Like, I will just be sat there with, like, an elevated heart rate feeling super, super fucking stressed over nothing. I don't know if it's just like somehow triggered some anxiety within me, but, um, but I couldn't even have a monster after it. Like two days went by, I went back to training, mate got me a monster, I was in a car, and I was like, dude, I feel like I can't have this, it's making me really, really nervous. I opened it, I tried to drink it, I had like a sip, bear in mind I normally drink two months a day. I just, I couldn't do it. Like I haven't had pre-workout since. I can't touch it, I can't stand the sight of it. I'm kind of worried that I've like scarred myself for life in pre-workouts. I felt like I went to another universe basically and I didn't know that legal, legal substances could do that to you. Like, I've never experienced anything like that. It's just basically goes to show take things, take things, be responsible for things. And I 100% should have gone to the hospital. When I was like in the car like drifting in and out of consciousness with my heart rate like fucking going like one beat a minute, throwing up out of the side of the window, I should have gone to the hospital and I kind of Nah, I shouldn't have. I didn't die. I was fine. But anyway, um, that's what pre-workout experience. We are going to try and release that once we make it better and change it. It means I am going to have to take it again to see what I like and don't like about it, what we can tweak. But uh, yeah, that's the time I almost died from pre-workout. Like, generally almost died from fucking pre-workout and it was horrendous. It was horrible. But anyway, stay safe guys. Don't overdose in your fucking pre-workouts. I love it to bits. Peace out. Bye.